So I know you've seen the title of this video, so just disclaimer, this is really just a normal, regular video. Like, we're just having one of those days. I don't even really feel like being on camera today. Julian just got back from a trip. I miss him so much. We were gone for six days, and he brought home some lovely sickness with him. And I feel like I'm getting a little sick too, but Julian is like sick right now. And all I want to do is just take care of my aunt. I'm sick. And I also am just having one of those days where I like I want to curl up in a blanket. What's your favorite type of food to eat on those days? Soup. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I don't need any kind of day to need soup. <laughs> I've made a couple of cooking videos in the past on this channel. Like, obviously on Julian's channel, we've done lots of cooking videos. But I was surprised that you guys wanted to watch that, even if we are like, you know, fucking around the whole time. Because I feel like some of you guys are genuinely interested in what we eat as two vegans, one of which has celiac disease and can't eat wheat also. <laughs> because it seems really complicated, but I promise you it's not. And so I think people are also kind of curious what we eat. And so I'd say this is like our go-to sick meal. This is absolutely Julian's like favorite, favorite soup. And I'd say it's one of my favorite soups. Just like really warm and comforting and it's oh, perfect. So good for the days when you just don't want to be. The first time that I made this recipe was for Julian when he got his wisdom teeth out and I chopped everything like super tiny so he could eat it. But the recipe is, I found on Pinterest, it's from Connoisseur's Veg. It's just a hot and sour soup that we've adjusted a little bit to make it vegan and gluten-free and it's really easy. For those of you that are here for crazy stuff, I'm sorry, I'm having a human day where I just need some soup and to spend you some to time sorry. with my Julie. And this is our Sam that cries when every you need a hug? Everybody needs a hug today, really bad. So because this isn't a cooking channel, this is real life. All of the ingredients are not prepared in neat little dishes and you just dump them together. That's always like my least favorite part of a cooking video. It's like, well, you just skipped over the only part that takes like the most time. Bok choy, scallions or green onions, cilantro, shiitake mushrooms, ginger, garlic, vegetable oil, tofu. Oh my fucking God. God. <laughs> so Chili paste and stuff that goes in the soy sauce. I'll show you all that. We pressed our tofu overnight, so it's all dried out. This is the tofu press. It's like my favorite thing in the kitchen because it you put the tofu so hot. Yeah, you put the tofu in here for like overnight, and then it comes out completely dried to where you can like fry it and it gets nice and crispy. I've also been watching a lot of June's Kitchen and just the other day he made his own tofu and I wish I could do that, but alas, I'm having a day where I'm not a person. <laughs> I like them like on the littler side. Like you can pick it, okay. You can pick it up with a spoon and not like open your mouth too. What's going on? You have to have a pre-chop ritual. Otherwise, what are you doing? What has this all been about? Last week, one of the lights went out and we're still getting bowls. <laughs> this week, this one was just this is our light. Even our like. I'm so sorry, man. It is just not in the cards for today. <laughs> this is a perfect soup for when you're having a day like this. Because I know you have days like this too. Thirds or fourths? Well, they should be cubes. So now that you made them that small lengthwise, you got to make them that small widthwise, or else they're not going to be even. I'm done with some Purple. rectangular food. Wait, okay. I'm making them all different sizes. No, I'm not. Julian, I don't know about all this. I know. This was a fun relationship, but sometimes you need to break up that tofu. You can do these at the same time, but I just want to do the tofu because it's just easier. Just put in some oil in a pan, and then you basically fry the tofu so that it gets nice and brown. So then when it's in the soup, it's like chewy and not like super soft. It's really good. While that's going, Julia, do you want to <laughs> cut this? Oh, hell yeah. What are you fighting with that? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. When you when you have in a day like this, <laughs> as long as it gets cooked, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna like Oh them. shit! No. <laughs> you gotta get them like browned on all sides. So, no, stop, Julian, please stop. <laughs> Medium. Hi. Hi. Put it on high. Hi. Maximum. No, I want them to brown, not blacken and burn. Put it between both burners and turn all of them on. <laughs> No! Will you please help me cut the ginger? <laughs> I'm a magician when it comes to the cut. <coughs> what are you looking at? Is that a tablespoon of ginger? Julie Hinn! It's on a Benny Hanna once. Oh! <coughs> the best chef! I thought I'd just like push them around. Individually turning these is something I did not do today. Oh, It's a ginger heart. 
I'm serious. I do not want to go to the ER. Wait, just to be clear, you don't want to go to the ER. I don't want to go to the ER. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> I know where one is. <laughs> That's really cute. Julian! What? I'm not for oh. her. This is getting like nice and brown and not Julian. It's not Julian y. Julian's favorite soup, but it usually has like sneaky wheat in it, like soy sauce and what else? They put like a flour in the thickener, right? We do cook for ourselves an awful lot, kind of out of necessity, even though we live in a very vegan friendly place. But I was so surprised the last couple of videos we did where we were cooking, like so many people were tweeting at me like pictures of them making it. I was like, I didn't think anyone was actually going to make it know, or that's, like that's here, my, but it's so cool. I got so many garbage plate tweets. I know. What's going on with these? Um, they they're like six me? sizes too big. <laughs> Peach, you're gonna pull them down. You're gonna pull my pants down. We're just gonna use extra bok choy and like one extra scallion. It's like six or seven and then like one bok choy. And then a quarter cup of cilantro and four ounces of shiitake mushrooms. Please stop doing this. Give your Aries boyfriend a knife and just let him get all of his frustration out. You love that knife. What knife is that? This is Miyabi Japanese Steel. I don't know the exact model. It's kind of like worn off. It's got these little grooves in here. So when you're cutting something with the moisture, it doesn't like stick to the food. Bend it up. <laughs> and you just... Oh. Those are looking about as brown as I like them. I'm going to go ahead and burn myself. <laughs> Behind! I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, but I love cilantro. Some people taste soap. So, I taste cilantro. So you gotta take your hamburger buns and you gotta <laughs> toast them. Oh, these are mushrooms? Wow, dude, you got me. I think you're funny. Thanks, you want a date? Yeah. I like your new blinds. So I'm gonna give you hugs in a little while, okay? Right. Oh, sweetheart. Whatever the garlic's amount says, just do a julian amount, which is like twice that. I'm not gonna chop the garlic, cause I'm tired. Maybe instead of going out for a date right now, we can, when we sit down and have dinner, we can light a candle and hold hands the whole time. The we whole eat. time, so we can eat one-handed? The whole time. <laughs> so this pot is too big for this. Another like tablespoon of oil, but sometimes we double this recipe, so it's good if you double it or you want leftovers. Having a julian, this will probably serve us one time. <laughs> I'm large. <laughs> I'm large. Ginger and garlic, baby. Need eight cups of broth. Okay. <laughs> bring that light over here. It's so bright. We're just gonna, we're bringing this to a boil. This is about how much soup we're working with. It's eight cups of broth, but it's like, Julian's gonna eat once now and once in two hours and it's gonna be gone. Just let it boil. Someone's touching my ball. Who is it? Reach it out. Me too, Peach. Thank you for helping mommy make soup that's not for you. You get your food too. Marble, come get your little slap on the floor. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, do you need a little more encouragement? Marbles, I believe in you. I'm gonna lower the heat. Wanna add some mushrooms? Careful, don't splash them all over. Julian. Thank you. You let this cook for another 10 minutes. So we can go like hold hands. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, take a nap for 10 minutes. <laughs> this is Kermit's marble is still eating, but I'm finished stance. He stands there and pretends not to stare at him the whole time. Watch him face the wall. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> when your boss walks by and you're on Reddit. <laughs> 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 Like you, we can't get them to move from there either until marbles is done. This is the magic right here. This rice vinegar makes it that sour flavor. So it's two tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of sambal or like Asian chili paste. It's really good when you don't feel good. We need some spice and some ginger and a tablespoon of soy. So if you wanted to make it gluten-free, you'd use tamari or gluten-free soy sauce. A tablespoon of sugar, which we are almost out of. Do you think we got a tablespoon? We better, because I'm not going to the store. Ooh, perfect. So then you let this cook for another 10 minutes. And then we add in all the green stuff and the tofu at the end. I made this. Oh no. 
How many tablespoons? Oh, no! Two tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter of a cup of cold water. Make sure you get cornstarch all over your pants, and your shirt, and the counter. Thickener with two seeds. Thickener with two seeds. Fun fact, if you're ever out of milk or almond milk and you want to have cereal, this works perfectly well. <laughs> no, don't listen to him, Look that's it. not it's, true. It's milk. Yeah. Julian, no. That is so gross. It tastes good, it's just try it. Oh, Julian. Bok choy, cilantro, scallion, yeah, just throw them all in there. Fuck it. Bok it up, baby. Stir it all up. Don't put it right in, it's just gonna stay Put it right in. Up. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, you are so glamorous, my god. Ooh, that's beautiful. It just got very purple in here. Oh, are we on a date? What the hell? <laughs> Is it good? It's really good. It burned my tongue a little bit. Babe, wait a minute before you eat it. It just came out of the pot. Oh my god, can you please? <laughs> no, Julie, please. Just make the lights normal and shut that off. Date's over. If you slurp at the decibel level that is equivalent to oh. the age of the oldest cook in the kitchen, you get everything for free <laughs> anywhere for the rest of your life. Julian. First of all, it's amazing. Second of all, it's amazing. It's so good. Third of all. What? What's third of all? What's third? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just okay. a good looking soup, too. Yeah. I'm not a super fan of how you chopped up this bok choy, Julie. Why? Because it's long and dangly? <laughs> yeah. I can put some scissors in that bowl real quick. What? What did it say? No scissors in your bowl. Good technique. It's so good. So good. Oh shit, is that a boomerang? Boomerang. Damn. I appreciate that you guys let me make videos sometimes that are just like, I don't know, life and not involving a hot glue gun whatsoever. Sometimes you just need to spend time with your rotten make soup, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I already said I don't want to go to the ER <laughs> from a knife or a candle burn. He started it. He is not doing anything. I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but I like watching cooking videos a lot. I find them to be really relaxing, and I needed to relax with my otter today, who is slowly getting me sicker and sicker. You piece of shit, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I hope that you found any of this enjoyable or helpful or inspired you to make some delicious soup. No time is a bad time to have some soup. Literally in the middle of walking through TSA. <laughs> That's a bad time to have soup. <laughs> You just sit in TSA with your full laptop out eating soup. <laughs> Watching hardcore porn. <laughs> God! I do appreciate you guys letting me have like a human day. There's literally over a hundred episodes of our podcast if you're interested in any of that. I have a radio show that goes up every single Friday and throughout the weekend on Sirius XM. It's called the YouTube 15. We're live on Twitch at least once a week. I'm all over the place all the time, okay? I go live on Meerkat every Sunday. You do not. That is not a thing anymore. Is it? Go to America. I'm live on it right now. I have a post beta. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that. What? That's disgusting. I got a good audio clip. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel and put on a video Wednesday slash Thursday. And hopefully next week, I'll have something a little more exciting for you. But sometimes you just gotta be people and make some soup, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe. Stop. Just rub the mic on your beard. No, no, I just swallowed into the mic. <laughs> That's not better. <laughs> I love, I love good audio. I got you flowers. Mm mm. No, no, I bought those like Valentine's years ago. Day. There's a filter on the slime. Do so you think it can go in the soup? Oh, it's wet. <laughs> Get out.